Hello and welcome to today's reflection. Today's reading is from Luke chapter 22 and continues the moving account of Jesus's final week. Today we pick up after Jesus has shared the Passover meal with his disciples and announced that he will be betrayed. So verse 39. He came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives and his disciples followed him. When he reached the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not come into the time of trial. Then he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me, yet not my will but yours be done. Then an angel from heaven appeared to him and gave him strength. In his anguish he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down on the ground. When he got up from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping because of grief. And he said to them, Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. While he was still speak speaking, suddenly a crowd came, and the one called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said to him, Judas, is it with a kiss that you are betraying the Son of Man? When those who were around saw what was coming, they asked, Lord, should we strike with the sword? Then one of them struck the slave of the high priest and cut off his right ear. But Jesus said, no more of this. And he touched his ear and healed him. And Jesus said to the chief priests, the officers of the temple police, and the elders who had come for him, Have you come out with swords and clubs as if I were a bandit? When I was with you day after day in the temple, you did not lay hands on me. But this is your hour and the power of darkness. And we give thanks to God for his word to us. I wonder, I wonder if you've ever agreed to do something, maybe quite eagerly initially, but as the time draws close, doubts start to nag and you find yourself thinking, why did I ever agree to do that? In this reading, I think we can maybe recognise that doubt here in Jesus. It's a truly human trait. Of course, because it's not easy to hold Jesus's humanity and divinity together, we can be tempted to think of being of, that being divine, Jesus somehow didn't struggle as we do, didn't suffer quite the same, didn't experience sadness, loss or that terrible sense of being let down that we sometimes unfortunately experience from time to time. Well, I think today's reading is a good antidote to that thought. Jesus in the garden is in anguish, the Bible tells us. He's like us, vulnerable, and he experiences that confusion, sadness, will, uh, weakness, bewilderment, that experience of feeling alone, which we all feel from time to time. We learn here that Jesus knows how it feels for us. He identifies and he stands with us in all those times when we experience these things. Jesus asks his friends to stay and watch while he prays. He cries out to God in his trouble. Ironically, earlier, Peter had just claimed he would never leave Jesus, but only a short while later, he can't even keep awake. He even betrays Jesus later in the week. But we know that Jesus forgave him and called him to follow. So Jesus continues in his task just as in the wilderness at the start of his ministry, Jesus uh, has been tested and he's resisted temptation. He doesn't renege, but in love for us, he rises from his anguished prayer and choosing to drink the cup, moves forwards as the guards arrive with Judas and his betrayer's kiss to arrest him. But there's to be no violence no attempt to avoid what lies ahead. Jesus is ready to face what he knows is coming. 
Robin Gamble in his Jesus 100 book has the following prayer, and I'll share that with you now as we finish. Lord Jesus, as Jesus, sorry, Lord God, as Jesus knelt before you in the garden, so I kneel before you now. May you give me strength in my weakness, your presence in my aloneness, and the help of an angel when my friends let me down, that I might be true to you. Amen. Well, I hope you have a good day and that maybe I'll see some of you over the coming days as we journey towards Easter. God bless.